welcome back so in this video we'll be talking about azure custom roles so before going into the practicals let's uh, look what azure custom roles are so in this video we'll be talking about both azure uh, ad custom roles as well as uh, azure custom roles so let's say for example uh, there is a team called uh, team a and uh, they are specific to you know like uh, managing the virtual machines so in your active directory uh, in virtual machines they'll be able to manage all the virtual machines uh, inside this uh, azure active directory but let's say uh, there is a new person who came into this organization and uh, this particular team just want to give uh, just a start permission so this person can only start a virtual machine so if you check the you know built in roles there is no specific role for that so when there is a uh, no built-in roles will be using a concept called custom roles in which we create our own role and add permissions accordingly so for that uh, we can give him uh, the start permission and he can only uh, start the virtual machines inside this uh, directory and let's say he's also working on some other project in which uh, he's he, he's uh, just accessing uh, auditing uh, records let's say so for that uh, we can just create a custom role in which we can add uh, this permission as well as uh, this particular permission and we can assign this particular role a uh, custom role to this particular user so he can uh, he can only have the access that we have given to him so let's look into practicals what exactly uh, is this custom roles and how can we create that so first let's look into uh, azure uh, roles so first we have to go to the subscriptions as we have done in the previous video so since i have only one subscription i'll be going into the first one which is subscription one so here uh you can see there is a access control i am so click that and here if you click add you can see you have different options in which you can add a custom role so you can click uh, here and uh, let's say i just want to mention uh, let's say sample i'm just mentioning uh, the sample role uh sample custom role okay so the one thing you can do is you can start from the scratch or the other one is you can start from the json you can just upload the file uh, we'll be talking about the json just in a minute and uh, you can also clone the role so let's say you want to add a role uh, let's say contributor or uh, let's look into some other role if we have any okay let's just start the contributor role and uh, you can just instead of sample you can say has a contributor custom role and you can add the description if you want and if i go next coming to the permissions so these are the different permissions that the contributor has so if you see the asterisk symbol here that means everything so you can see the wildcard extends permission to everything that uh, matches the string you provide to add a wildcard permission use this json tab so it's just everything inside this particular directory so one thing is you can also add more permissions so we have uh, flexibility for this uh, custom role so just add and uh, let's say i just want to add uh, i'm just uh, so let's say i just want to add a github so let's go back it's not showing just a second okay let me add it and uh, let's add uh, azure active directory and i'm just adding this permission so just want to i uh, have uh, only this one so i'm just adding it and you can see we have that particular permission added uh, here and if you go to the json you can see coming to the action this is the action oh let me check that once again okay we all have this not action so this operations cannot be performed by this particular user only the user that can perform is only these particular actions so that is what the json uh, file uh, that mentions you can see action so these are the only uh, actions that he can perform whereas he cannot perform this particular operations where he can write delete he can only read it so that is the permissions uh, we have 
we can just uh, add and exclude accordingly so if you want to exclude more you can just click and uh, let's say active directory and uh, let's say i want to uh, remove this particular i want to exclude this uh, uh, particular operation uh, for this role so just add it so you can see it's under not action so these roles cannot be performed by this particular user whom you assign this custom role so that is uh, that is what it is and coming to the scope it's a subscription level so you can uh, add uh, if you have any you can see you can add it to internet group or you can uh, add it to the resource uh, group levels accordingly so don't have any other subscription so it's only showing me one subscription so based on your scopes you can uh, add this custom role and in the end you can just review and create it so you know you can just create it and uh, you have successfully created a custom rule contributor custom rule so it's done so whenever you can uh, directly you know uh, add this role uh, to the users so for example add role assignment you can see let's see if we have that one oh so it's contributor right So you can see we have this uh, contributor custom role that we have created so since we have not added any uh, description it's not showing so you can just add this one and uh, go next so you can see selected role is a uh, you know contributor custom role and uh, you can add the members accordingly so if you if i add ajay like he'll be having this uh, custom role and he can perform uh, uh, the operations based on that so i'll just go back so this is what uh, azure uh, roles are so if you go back and check uh, Azure AD roles, let's go to our uh, Azure Active Directory. So click that. And under Manage, you can see we have roles and administrators. Click that. So here, I may not uh, able to create because of to create this, you should have Azure AD Premium P1 or, or P2. Uh, since I'm using the free version, I'm not able to do that. But uh, it, it, it will be the same process however if you just uh, go to one role it's just uh, you have only you know permissions on inside uh, the microsoft uh, directory so whatever role that you take it will be the microsoft directory so i don't think there is flexibility where you can remove a few roles that uh, we have uh, done in the previous uh, you know azure roles so if i go back and check other roles it will be the microsoft you know uh, directory See, everything is related to Microsoft directory. So that is what it is. Uh, I hope you guys have understood the concept of Azure uh, custom roles, which provides flexibility and control over access to resources in Azure, allowing organization to tailor access to specific users and groups based on uh, their job functions and responsibilities. So if you like the video, please click the like button below. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video. Thanks everyone.